What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much for watching out here on a beautiful fall day, trying to get some stands set up for this deer season. It's it's a little late, I'll admit. I'm out here a little late, but our season here in Alabama starts later than many other states, so we're okay. But what we do here is we've got stands that are in different spots. We leave them out here year-round, even lock-on stands or ladder stands. But what we do is try to go out and do some maintenance. So check things like any ratchet straps you add to them, get your safety line set up, get your cord set up to pull your bow or your rifle up in the stand and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, we're going to walk around and get all these set up and kind of show you guys any tricks along the way. Shouldn't be all that exciting or eventful, but it's just a few things that we've picked up and hope we can, maybe it'll help somebody out. All right, guys, up here on this stand, you can see we've got, and I can't point to it, but we've got that one main line that comes off the stand as well as we got a, a, a regular ratchet strap. See, it's going around. Uh, a couple things. Number one, this main line right here, the one that we're zooming in on there, is too tight, just like a stand I moved. So that is going to have to be, <laughs> this is my own doing right here. So when you leave these things out here, you can see that the tree is growing around it. Now I can't get that strap, so I'm going to have to unbolt that. But we're going to do that after the season. Also, this ratchet strap is in decent shape. I thought I had three. I'm actually going to just go ahead and add a third one to it and probably trash this one after the season. But look at your straps, guys. Make sure everything's on there good. Just don't take, just don't go up and shake it and say, oh, it's good, because these straps will go bad. Same thing on these uh, ladder sections. But we're going to go ahead and pop a new strap on there, get this safety line on, and this one should just about be done. Oh, I cannot believe that worked. I don't know if I got that on camera or not, but I just tossed a portion of this ratchet strap around the tree and actually caught it. That'll never happen again. All right. Now we're cooking. So this spot that we're at is actually on a, in a swamp. And it's actually a pretty productive spot. Uh, if you watch the video of the stand we just put up, it's actually back this way on the other side of a creek. So this is a very productive area for us. At least I think it is. I've shot a few deer from this stand. Um, but no, it's a good, it's good where a lot of, it's one of those places where a lot of habitat comes together and that's one of the things you really wanna look for. Two ratchet straps plus that one, that makes me feel better. I know that's overkill, but that's what I like. Let's get our safety line put up and I'll kinda of show you a trick I started doing to keep those things from wanting to slide down the tree because that is freaking annoying. So guys, on these safety ropes, you can see this one. This is my main safety line, not just a lineman's rope. One of the irritating things, at least for me, is when you get on here, especially like on these pine trees, this thing will just drop when you sit down. It's cold. You get out here, you're trying to push it up. To me, you're making noise, you're rustling, you're fidgeting, and also it's a safety thing. So what I do is I just take a zip tie like this and just kind of wrap it around the way these lines come together, and I'll just leave it out there, and I'll just cut it off and take it with me when I'm done for the season. But that just kind of helps hold this in place. So when you get up here, you don't have, like I said, you're not fidgeting. You can get situated and set, and you're not making a bunch of noise. Just a tip, if you guys have other ideas, put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them because when you set these things up and it's nice and warm and beautiful, it's a lot different than when it's about 20 degrees and dark, and you know what I mean. So this one's all set up. It looks kind of like a mess, but I'll explain that in just a moment. You can see up here, no, I don't put my stands high. I've actually had deer walk right under the stand before and not see me. Uh, I got this, get the cushion up, you got your safety line up there, and I showed you the zip tie thing. But what I like to do down here is a couple of things. Have things, like this is for my rifle or for bow. Not really much of a bow hunter, but try to put this in a spot where, it's, where you can get to it. You guys know, you get out here in the dark, you're fumbling, you're going, you've got a mess going on, you're trying to hurry up, it's stressful, you're trying to get in a tree. Have this ready to go. Have your line right here ready to go where you can hook up, and you can just jump in. Another thing I like to do, too, on the end of your safety lines, Make you, a, make you a little knot on the end. Uh, best kind of knot to use, in my opinion, is a bowline knot. You can look up how to do it. They're real easy because they're easy to break loose. But then you can take your backpack and just put your little carabiner on it. You can hook it to the bottom of your safety line, hook your rifle or bow to this, pop up in the stand, and you can pull them both back up. 
And what I do on my bag is I just take a bungee and just hook it to the top section of that ladder, one of the ladders you use to climb up, and there you go. I want to be as efficient and quiet as I freaking can and as comfortable as possible when you get out here because, as you know, it's critical. I could have some deer bedding on the edge of this clearing back up in there, and I don't want them to hear me or smell me. But this stand's ready. We're going to make our way over to another ladder stand and show you guys a few things there. And here is our main ladder stand that we've got. We've got two ladder stands, but I would call this our main one that we hunt the most. This one's 12 feet tall, I think. But it's a good spot. It's up here on the hillside. And actually, this is an area that we first started hunting when we first got this place. Also, the first spot that we ever shot a deer out here. This is also an area where they rut a lot. Around here, this drops down, and they travel all around these edges, and they scrape up here sometimes. So it's a good spot. But we're going to get up here and get these ropes all situated. I don't think I need to replace any of those ratchet straps. But we'll, we'll go take a look at them. Well guys, that's going to do it for this video. We'll end with this beautiful shot being up in this stand. This is a great spot. It's not as productive as some of the others, but it's still a good one. And I was also fortunate one of my sons shot his first deer here from this stand. So that's great. So it's good memories. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for someone. I know it's not, this isn't like extravagant information, but there's just some tips that we've learned along the way. I'm no deer expert. I'm no tree stand expert. These are just things that we've learned as we've worked out here on this property. But I hope everyone has a great fall, a great season. If you're a deer hunter, get out there, enjoy. If you're not, I get it completely. Nothing wrong with that. Get out anyway. Enjoy the woods. It's fall. It's beautiful. It's nice. And it's a lot better out here than it is indoors. But I hope everybody, again, has a great season, a great fall. We will chat with you guys next time.